dear learners, welcome to this module of Empowerment Technology. This module will help you explore the different technologies and online platforms and how they can be used effectively. It contains activities that will let you create your own ICT contents and evaluate existing online creation tools, platforms, and applications. The module is self-instructional and allows you to learn in your own space, at your own pace. So, relax and enjoy learning. So, come on, let us learn ICT. When we say ICT, it stands for Information and Communication Technology. It often deals with the use of different technological inventions like mobile phones, telephones, computer, internet, and other devices, as well as software and applications to locate, to save, to send, and to manipulate information. You see, ICT has greatly contributed to how easy our lives has been today, right? Our gadgets have become part of our necessity that we check on them after we wake up. It made communication easier. We can use cellular phones that are designed for communicating with other people even they are miles away from us. It has also assisted us in our work since there are internet-based jobs. It has revolutionized our education and in the modernization of our economy. Alright, so let's have a short reflection on the following questions. How many times have you checked your phone this morning? How many updates have you posted on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram today? Do you use the internet, mobile, for an hour after you woke up this morning? Have you followed a celebrity, a crush, on his or her social media account? Let us try to check our internet and computer readiness. So we have here an activity 1.1, which you are going to answer. There are no right or wrong answers for this activity. Just state whether you agree or disagree to each of the statements by drawing a happy face if you agree and a sad face if you disagree. Got it? Did you agree to all or most of the questions? If so, then you must have experience using the different online platforms and sites. And now, let us try to talk about the status of ICT in the Philippines. So, Philippines is dubbed as ICT hub of Asia because of huge growth of ICT-related jobs one of which is the BPO, or Business Process Outsourcing, or known as the call centers. That is the data gathered by the Annual Survey of the Philippines Business and Industries in year 2010. How about today? How's our ICT in the Philippines? Correct! We are now including it in our day-to-day -day basis. Even I, I am using the internet, my laptop, and my cell phone as my tools in teaching my students a new normal kind of learning.